shortly before the project was finished. Passed away. George was devastated. He ordered all construction to stop, and from that day forward, he never set foot on the island again. For many years after Louise's death, the castle stood abandoned, subject to the elements. Then, in 1977, the Thousand Islands Bridge Authority stepped in. Using blue prints, other drawings, and materials that have been left behind, a new labor of love began. Bit by bit, the castle, its surrounding buildings, and the grounds were completed and restored. A project that still continues today, bringing this architectural wonder back to life. As the vessel circles the castle, look for a tall the stone building with the small arched bridge and the clock tower was to be the powerhouse. Then, on the far side of the island, you'll see the docks that today welcome visitors from around the world who have come to visit. Across from the docks, don't miss the massive house of the It was a time to house up to 60 boats of all shapes and sizes. Yeah. 